What is going on everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today we are going to be comparing the Leopard 3 versus the Axiom Rhythm. Both this coming in at the same flight numbers, 75, negative 2, 1, so it will be interesting to see any flight differences. We do have a Halo Leopard 3. I find this disc to be very neutral flying, so we'll see how it compares to the Rhythm. To get us started, we have about a 280 foot hyzer. <laughs> Love that. I find the Leopard 3 to be very, very controllable. One of my favorite fairway drivers that I personally bag. So it'll be interesting to see how I feel about this rhythm. Oh yeah, nice and glidey. Beautiful shot. With the Leopard 3 being a staple in my bag, I do have high hopes for the rhythm. From that shot, I can tell it's gonna be nice and glidey. Very easy to throw. I didn't throw that very hard at all. Yes, it's only a 280 foot hold though. Couple of park jobs on hole one. The rhythm comes off a little domier in the hand than my Leopard 3, although I've seen Leopard 3s that are quite domey. I have a few at home, Halo Leopard 3s that are really domey. I don't really like them. I like these flatter Leopard 3s. This isn't all that domey, but definitely some more pop and give in the middle of its flight plate. Hole two says it's 325 feet up that hill. I have to assume that these discs are not going to get there, but we will start off with the rhythm this time. Maybe a nice little flip up on that right side. Oh, flipped up though. Oh, and it's just going right. Maybe a little bit more understable than what this Halo Leopard is. Yeah, if I threw that line with the rhythm, it would have been perfect because it would have flipped around that middle tree. You guys know the deal. Disc Golf Deals USA sent me the rhythm. Shout out to them. Making these videos possible. Go shop with them. Link down in the description. If you are a new customer, use Max S10 for 10% off your whole first order. That's right, your whole order. Go shop. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. You can see the top of the basket here on hole three. I'm gonna to try to go pretty straight at this basket, if not a tiny bit of Annie on the right side. Laser beam straight at it. With this hill, it's probably hard to see. Turn rhythm. I want you to turn. Of course you stable up a little bit at the last second. Just now getting toasty out here. Good thing some of this course is in the woods though, and I just hit a shade tree, that's awesome. Today I'm filming two videos, I already filmed a video before this, then this video, and then later on, I'm gonna go play handyman with my friend to practice for the hazy shade biop. If you're in the Dayton area, let me know down in the comments if you're playing the biop, and if you are, maybe I'll see you there. Leopard three, just coming up a little bit short. Perfect line though, perfect Annie. <laughs> Perfect putt. Then the rhythm just leaking out a bit to the left side. <sighs> Able, oh, I thought that popped out. Able to make the putt though. Hole four, not very far at all at 260 feet, dead straight at it. Gonna start off with the rhythm. Just push it out there flat and let that stability take it to the basket. <sighs> just like that. Yeah, that's good. Just on the back side of the hill. A little bit more stable, so it leaks out a little bit more to the left side. And give us a little lengthy putt for tester birdie. What I'm really liking about the rhythm is you don't have to throw it hard at all to really just get it going straight, which is really nice. And then if you power up on a little bit, maybe put that hyzer on it so it flips up to flat. Leopard three first. <laughs> Honestly, closer than I thought it was. I thought it was a little bit further back and hyzered out sooner. Oh, thought I short-armed the rhythm putt, but they're both in for birdie. Hole five, about 300 feet down in those trees. The other day I threw leopard here and it was perfect distance, if not a little bit long. So I can't help but think the rhythm is gonna be the same way. Let's start off with the leopard though. Oh, got a good rip on that. You can just see how straight that is. Never worry that it's gonna drift off to that right side. <sighs> then the rhythm has a way better flip up out of it. That was a bit forgiving. Threw that on a little bit more hyzer than I wanted to, but luckily it flipped up for me where it didn't just dump out. This was a really poor shot and it got right up here with the leopard. Go, yes. What? 
Are you serious? That might be the most dead center putt I've ever thrown. Unbelievable. Before I had that awful spit out, I was going to say the rhythm just kind of has that effortless distance glide on it. Then I had the spit out and I just went all crazy. Fun things always happening on this YouTube channel, spit outs and all. Hole six, just a little doinker, hyzer, 250 feet. But I babied it, kind of. Oh, get down. You would mess this hole up. That'd be something I would do. The easiest hole up today, I'm gonna mess up. Oh, come on. Two off of cage slash chains. Oh my gosh. Quick montage there, but we are back for hole nine. Last hole of the video, about 310 feet. Well, the T sign says 330, but I don't think that's right. Basically just a nice little hyzer with these two discs. I love it. Get over there. You saw me throw the rhythm right into the ground. Let's try to not do that again, please. Oh, the rhythm just turns more. More hyzer I need to put on it. All around a good flight. Just not the flight that I was looking for for the line that I put it on. Drop. Oh! There we go. Woo-wee! There you guys have it. That is the Rhythm versus the Leopard 3. Overall, I kind of like this disc. Very easy to get distance with. If you have a little bit of a slower arm speed and you're looking for something that kind of flips up for you, the Rhythm might be where it's at. Definitely a little bit more understable than my Halo Leopard 3, but put this in G-Star or Star Plastic and you probably get very similar flights. It seems a little bit more glidey than the Halo Leopard 3 as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.